What's up everyone, Alex here. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Cabaret Club minigame in Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise. But before we get into that, if you haven't yet, check out my review of Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise on the card shown. It's a fun game, and definitely a worthwhile time, despite my criticisms. This Cabaret Club plays differently compared to previous iterations of the minigame, and I'm here to show you what those differences are. Instead of playing to increase the reputation of the Cabaret Club by way of repeated play, Lost Paradise's Cabaret Club is structured as a mission-based system. Your goal is to siphon as much money from your guests as possible, fulfilling each mission's win conditions as you play along, and you are now able to visually see how much money each customer has upon sitting down. And no, you won't be asked for ladies' glass or towels in this one, though you will, on occasion, be asked to step in and deal with unruly guests. More on this later. One of the most significant changes to this minigame is that time no longer pauses when trying to pair a customer with a hostess. That said, upon selecting a seat adjacent to a customer, different colored thumbs up icons show up on the hostess list, indicating how well they match up with said customer. This change is actually pretty handy, given that in previous versions of the minigame, you had to select the customer, then cycle through the hostesses to see the customer's reaction towards them. This also means that you can't just sit there and think of a strategy forever. Things need to get moving. Aside from the Cabaret Club setup being a 2x2 set of tables in this version, you may notice that each customer can now have at most two hostesses at once. This actually has something to do with a new skill system that's unique to this version. Each hostess has their own unique skill, such as being able to siphon money from adjacent tables or restore HP to hostesses seated at the same table. These skills can be activated when you've sufficiently earned enough skill meter, which fills up as you earn more money. And no, there isn't a fever time option anymore, like in the Yakuza Cabaret Clubs. These skills actually add an interesting spatial strategy to the game, and with the more defined goal of, let's get as much money from these customers as possible, you can quickly formulate a strategy, and even have some favorites you'd like to use more often. The out-of-shift management part of the Cabaret Club has been greatly simplified. Unfortunately, you're no longer able to make over your hostesses as you see fit. You also won't be able to train them by taking them out on dates. Instead, you're able to use different items to train your hostesses, which upgrades their stats, gives them experience, or even fully fill up their energy. The fatigue system featured in previous Yakuza Cabaret Clubs is present as well, and with a more limited roster of hostesses, much more limited than in the Yakuza games, this can be quite a challenge to juggle. Finally, because this is Fist of the North Star, there are multiple ways of dealing with unruly guests. Much like hostess skills, some of these use the skill meter that builds up as you earn money. The goal is to properly identify the kinds of quote-unquote unruliness that occurs, which help with your hostess's health and the enjoyment of nearby guests. There are numerous very Kenshiro ways of dealing with unruly customers here as well, and it's quite entertaining to see how he handles these events. Even though much of the management part of the Cabaret Club was overly simplified, I actually wonder how much of this spatial strategy would play out in a future iteration of the Cabaret Club. I like the idea of doubling down on hostesses to either help raise their HP and being able to siphon nearby customers' money to help with the skill meter, and I'm imagining how awesome it'd be if Yakuza's management part was implemented alongside the much quicker pace of the Cabaret Club in this game. But enough about me. I want to hear what you think. Are you excited to play this version of the Cabaret Club? Post your comments below. Also, check out my review of Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful gaming week.